Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope y'all are having a good day. Speaking of good day, I know one person who's probably not having a good day or a good week for that matter, and that's Ime Udoka. Now, and if you're wondering what Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews were debating on live television about, it's that the Boston Celtics head coach has been suspended for the entire year due to having some sort of relationship with a female staff member in the Boston Celtics organization. Let's continue to watch this exchange between the two. That the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule breaking was that led us to this point. So, so that I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, Molly, I think what stood out to me I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact. It was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. I can tell by Malika's energy that she definitely woke up today and chose violence, not peace, violence. Let's keep watching. First of all, let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like don't you're think not someone mentioning. Would notice if Ime excuse Udoka me, was excuse not me, at excuse me. She's on a power trip on this one because she tried to blatantly cut him off while he was in the middle of his argument. When he let her talk for about, what, two minutes and did not say a single word. So he had to check her. I listened to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. OK, that's number one. Number two, I've already said he deserves to be fired or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally and privately. If you're not going to handle it privately, if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know, OK, well, who are the parties involved? When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this, it's a disservice to them. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were, they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has, has, has existed in professional sports for many years, my whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion it has always been handled. You could have fired him. And then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year, then also that year is indefinite. That is the issue that I have. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka, and certainly nobody is trying to protect, uh, is, to, is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. 
I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. I'm not trying to attack anybody. And if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I've made that very clear. I'm just talking about you got owners and everybody else. They know the kind of stuff that's going on. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. They didn't say anything about everybody else. Mm. All the other times this stuff has happened. But now when it comes to him, it's all over the place. That is my issue. That is my only issue. Like Stephen A. already mentioned, not just in the Boston Celtics organization or in the NBA in general, relationships in the workplace happen all the time. Stephen A. does love him some cutty. All right, mm. we ready to work, guys? I appreciate that clarification. And I think that getting back to Molly's initial question, that is what stood out to me from the press conference. My reaction to the press conference, and I, I appreciate you clarifying that, Stephen A., is that the only thing that was made clear to me in this is that we are missing a key piece of information here. That is my reaction to the press conference. Malika definitely took an L during this live segment of First Take. I think she could just use it as a learning experience to you know, process and absorb somebody's position or argument before claiming that they said something that they didn't. To wrap things up, I'd just like to reiterate that none of us know what truly happened except Ime Udoka, the female staff member, and the Boston Celtics organization. Uh, one thing I do know is Ime Udoka fumbled the bag. He fumbled Nia Long. Like, bro, what were you thinking? He fumbled the NBA Finals. And right now, he lo it looks like he's taking the biggest L of 2022. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below about this situation. Because it's a lot to unpack. Was Stephen A. Smith too harsh when he checked Blake Andrews? How do you guys feel about Nia Long being cheated on by Ime Udoka? How do you feel about this situation in general? And there's more stories out there that I gotta research and cover. So I'll catch y'all on the next one.